Hello, welcome to this easy math tutorial on quadratic nth term. So today what we'll be doing is we'll be working out what the formula is for a quadratic sequence. So I'm sure that most of you are familiar with the quadratic equation being ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. And what happens with quadratic terms is they are in the form of a n squared plus bn plus c equal to zero, where n is the terms of the sequence. So in, in order to work out um, the formula for the nth term of a quadratic sequence, there's a few equations that we need to learn. What I'm going to do is I'm going to write these out, and then I'm going to show you how these equations are derived. So the first one you need to know is that a plus b plus c is equal to the first term of the sequence. The next one is that 2a is equal to the second difference of the sequence. And I'll show you what I mean by the second difference when we come on to an example. And the last one is that 3a plus b equals the difference between the second term and the first term. So whenever you're doing these these kind of questions, I will make sure that you memorize these equations. Um, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how we've got to these results. So what we need to do is we need to take this equation again. a n squared plus b n plus c equals 0. And what we need to do is we need to write out the first few terms of this sequence. So if I write... Let's write the first five terms of this sequence. So the first term we're going to get is by making n equal to 1. So we're going to substitute n equals 1 into the formula a n squared plus b n plus c. So that's going to give us a plus b plus c. And already there you can see I've already derived our first equation, that the first term of the sequence is equal to a plus b plus c. So we can tick that off. Now the second term of this sequence is going to be by making n equal to 2. Now to find the second term of the sequence, we need to make n equal to 2 by substituting it into this formula. So it's going to be 2n squared multiplied by a, so that's 4a plus 2b plus c. Then the third term, again we substitute n equals 3 into this formula. So we're going to get 3 squared times a, which is 9a plus 3b plus c. Fourth term, 4 squared a, which is 16a, plus 4b plus c. And the fifth term is 5 squared times a, which is 25a, plus 5b plus c. Okay, so that is the first five terms of our sequence. Now what we need to do is we need to find the first difference. So to find the first difference, we're going to need to subtract each of the terms from each other. So we need to subtract the second term from the first term, the third term from the second term, the fourth term from the third term, the fifth term from the fourth term. So if we subtract the second term from the first term, we should get this result here, that the difference between the second term and the first term is 3a plus b. So let's try it. 4a plus 2b plus c minus a minus b minus c. The c's are going to cancel out, and you're going to be left with 3a plus b, which is the result that I said at the start. Now, and if we go through and we just find the difference between each of these terms, so we've got 5a plus b for the difference between the third and the fourth term, then we've got 7a plus b for the difference between the 4th 
and the third term. And then we've got 9a plus b for the difference between the fifth and the fourth. All of these are our first difference. Now we're going to need to find the second difference. Now the second difference should agree to what we've got up here, that the second difference of the sequence is 2a. So I can take this off that the difference between the second term and the first term is 3a plus b. As we can see, 5a plus b minus 3a minus b, those b's are going to cancel out, you're left with 2a. This is also 2a, and this is 2a. So now you can see that this agrees with our statement up here. So now we've got the equations, we've shown how we've got to those results. Now I think we should have a look at some examples. So this is the first example I've got, and what we need to do here is we need to try and find what the formula for the nth term of this sequence is. So what we need to do is we need to use our equations. So if I just write the sequence down here. We can find out what the first difference is from the sequence. So the first difference is going to be 6. Second difference is going to be 8. Third difference is going to be 10. Because the differences aren't constant, we know that there must be a second difference. So the second difference between 8 and 6 is 2, and the second difference between 10 and 8 is also 2. And because our difference is constant, we know we have a quadratic sequence. So, our formula stated that 2a is equal to the second difference. If our second difference is 2, that means we can make 2a equal to 2. So therefore, we can now solve for a. So a equals 1. Then the next formula I'm going to use is the fact that 3a plus b is the difference between the first and the second terms. So we're going to need to use this result here, 6, because 6 is the difference between 11 and 5. So now we can make another equation that 3a plus b is equal to 6. Well, we know what a is now because we've already worked it out. So what we can do is we can substitute a into this formula and then solve for b. So it's going to be 3 multiplied by 1 plus b equals 6. And now if we bring this 3 over to the right-hand side, we're going to get b equals 6 minus 3, which is 3. So now all we need to do is just solve for c. And we've got an equation up here with three terms, a, b, and c. We've only got one unknown because we worked out the values of a and b. And we know what the first term of our sequence is. So the first term of our sequence is going to be 5. So we need to say that a plus b plus c is equal to 5. Well, we know a is 1. We know b is 3. And we can easily work out c, and we can easily see that c is 1. And then we just substitute these terms back into our formula a n squared plus b n plus c. So a is 1, so that's just going to be n squared plus b n, so that's 3n plus c is 1. So therefore, this is the nth term for our quadratic sequence, n squared plus 3n plus 1. So this second example, we've got the terms minus 8, 2, 16, and 34, and we need to find the nth term of this quadratic sequence. So first we're going to find the first difference between these terms. So the difference between 2 and minus 8 is 10, the difference between 16 and 2 is 14, and the difference between 34 and 16 is 18. Then we need to find the second difference. So the difference between 14 and 10 is 4, and the difference between 18 and 14 is also 4. So we know that this is a quadratic sequence because there's only two differences. And because we've got our second difference, we can use our first equation, which is that 2a is equal to the second difference. So therefore, 2a is going to be equal to 4. If we divide both sides by 2, we get a equals 2. So now we can use our second equation, which is a plus b plus c. And that's going to be equal to minus 8 because that's the first term of our sequence. 
And then we can use our last equation, which is 3a plus b is equal to the difference between the first and second terms. So in this example, it's 10. And as we've already found our result for a, we can substitute a into the formula 3a plus b equals 10. So we substitute a, we get 3 times 2 plus b equals 10. 3 times 2 is 6, we can bring that over to the right hand side. And we get 10 minus 6, which means b is equal to 4. Okay, so now we've got two terms, we need to find the third term. So we can find the third term by substituting both a and b into the formula a plus b plus c equals minus a. So that means we're going to have 2 plus 4 plus c equals minus a. That's going to simplify to 6 plus c equals minus a. We can move the 6 over to the right hand side and we get c equals minus 14. Now all we need to do is substitute the values of a, b and c into our formula, a n squared plus b n plus c, and then we will have the nth term for our quadratic sequence. So our answer is going to be 2n squared plus 4n minus 14. And there you go, that is the formula for our quadratic sequence. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment in the video down below, and don't forget to subscribe.